This is a HeadGum Podcast. Happy Labor Day episode of If I Were You. That's right. You get the day off and a nice new podcast for you. Hot off the presses, hot off the messes. And speaking of pressy, messy underwear... This episode we, is brought okay. to you by MeUndies. Great transition. Mm-hmm. Uh, we constantly endorse MeUndies. You guys know that we love it. We wear it. It's soft. It's comfortable. It's affordable. It's cool. It's stylish. All that stuff. You can get 20% off if you go to MeUndies.com slash Jake or MeUndies.com slash Amir. The design of the month is in, and it's hot. And it is dope. It's sick. Uh, but we want to sweeten the deal a little bit, just to make things a little bit unique. You know, it's a new. It's now that you can wear white after Labor Day, or is it you can't wear white after? Yeah, Labor no Day? more white. Actually. No more. Okay, now that you can't wear white, you need to get something funky, fresh, fabulous. Uh, if you go to MeUndies.com and use our coupon code, that's MeUndies.com slash Jake or slash Amir for twenty percent off your order. Send us that receipt to if I were you show at gmail.com. And if you buy underwear this week. That's from, I think, September 5th is Labor Day until, like, the 12th, let's say. Okay. Forward us that receipt. We're going to look at the date, and we'll personally thank you, shout you out next time we endorse me on DC. Damn. All right. And that's yeah, a that's a, one, that. a one-time week offer right here. I'm going to send you my receipt. So, oh, that's good. Will you thank me personally? I have, uh, let's say, let's get that one out of the way right now. Thank you, Jake, for buying me undies. You're welcome. Okay. Um, um, that's amazing. I actually what's feel, that? I feel worth a damn for the first time in my whole fucking life. <laughs> that's a, a little bit sad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are you laughing or crying? <laughs> Both. <laughs> uh, so if you've been on the fence, a little unsure, if you've been waiting to buy a birthday present for a September in your life or an anniversary present, my parents' anniversary is coming up. If you want to buy them some undies or anybody in your life undies, now's the week. Because they got divorced 30 years ago. <laughs> yeah, divorced literally the day after their wedding. <laughs> Uh, go to MeUndies.com slash Jake or MeUndies.com slash Amir. Get a pair of underwear, 20% off your first order. Again, so soft, so comfortable, so great. We only wear MeUndies. That's true. Uh, so check them out. And thank you for supporting that sponsor. This was an exciting episode. Arielle Vandenberg That's came on right. the show to kill it. A tour de comedy. Uh, and we had so much fun together. Uh, things, of course, got real. They always do. So why don't we just get into it right now? Jazzy as shit, dude. We are riding top down up the PCH. Not a care in the world. Ariel, what'd you think? That was the cutest theme song I've ever heard in my life. That was written by somebody named Amir, but he spells it differently. He spells it A M E R. What a dick. Which is what most people think I spell my name as. But I'm honored to be named uh, as uh, as an Amir, a fellow Amir uh, with such a talented guy who. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm a little bit a musician too, because if wow. one of you did it, because of that, yeah, because that, and then it's introduce like introduce so our guest. We have a guest on the show. You spent the first. <laughs> Do you think I'm a good musician? You, you just launched Listen, into how you know, you're a musician. I think I am. No I one mean, even knows who Ariel is right now. I could, yeah, I could be anyone for all they know. Well, if you don't know. Now you know. Hell they yeah. still don't. Oh, they still they don't. Still don't. They still yeah. don't. Uh, introduce me. Comedian. <laughs> What? Is that was that a good all encompassing term? Comedian? I guess. Would I mean, you say writer? Would you say actor? Would you say I'm a human being. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm a multi hyphenate. Yeah, I'm human a multi hyphenate. Starts with human. Human hyphen That's being. It's hyphen. <laughs> Comedy being. <laughs> no, I like comedy, but I'm an actress, and I will do other things besides comedy. That's true. But I, I mostly. Uh, You're a performer. I'm a performer. Yeah, we yeah. Met, we met just last week, or perhaps a week ago, two weeks ago, when we were on your Snapchat. Yeah, I your have Snap these Hang, Snapchat Hangs, and Jake and Amir were my favorite guests. Yes, <laughs> yeah, amazing. Yeah. She said it. Yeah, and not yeah. just because she's on her show. Yes. <laughs> well, you were well. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, 
your <laughs> let's snap, peek behind that door. <laughs> your snap hang was so popular. Uh, we have like thousands of more people following us on Snapchat now. That's so exciting. You're an influencer. You influence people. I am an influencer, Mayor. Do you? Does it feel that way? Do you feel powerful? Sometimes. When you Snapchat something, <laughs> does it feel like two rose bowls filled with humans are watching it? I Ooh. never thought of it like that. That's really amazing. I'm freaking, what a nice visual. I'm like Snapchat's Beyonce. Yeah. <gasps> <Shit>. <laughs> that is your Instagram bio, which uh, has 14 followers. So very much, much not a Beyonce in that regard. Damn it. Does Beyonce have Snapchat? I just, uh, she doesn't have Snapchat, but I just went to her Instagram for the first time. She has 83 million followers. Dear it's actually God. not bad. How many Rose Bowls is that? Did you uh, say not bad? <laughs> Well, that's I don't... not bad. <laughs> that's that's eight hundred and thirty rose bowls. Well, how many do I have? Because you I'm have a, we, you have uh, I'm wondering half, if less than half of one rose bowl. Less than half of, of a one Beyonce? rose bowl. Yeah. No. No. How no. Many, no. No. She has you have less have... than one percent. I haven't looked at my followers. You in have a long roughly time. one half of one percent of Beyonce's. Followers. I haven't checked wow. in on my followers. In I have. Time, so... I've so, I've seen it. Wait. How many does the rose bowl hold? I would say roughly a hundred thousand. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty good. Yeah. So I just saw could... Coldplay at the Rose Bowl. How was that? So good. <laughs> <laughs> Ariella, but we should could... say, is our music reviewer. So, <laughs> concert. <laughs> Two word so reviews. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's always so good or so bad. Can you? Does it feel like a concert when you're there with a hundred thousand other people, or you, the people are so small? Like, are you listening? Does it? Is it music or is it a concert? What does it feel like? That's exactly what a concert it's, feels like. It's a like. concert. But you're so far away. What? If you're at the Rose Bowl, have you, you can ever be... been to a concert? No, not a concert specifically, but I've it's done so a live strange. podcast. Oh, it's different. <laughs> does it? But does it feel less intimate, or does it feel like you're there with just? You've a never been there? to a con- shut up. Not of that great magnitude. Are you lying? No, you've the biggest never been concert to, like, you've ever Hollywood been to her Bowl? was like um, the Hollywood Bowl is one thing. The Rose Bowl is a hundred times the Hollywood Bowl. Oh, for real? I don't. Oh, so maybe it does feel like not a hundred. Hollywood Bowl is more. You think Hollywood Bowl is only a thousand people? How much is it? It's like 30,000 people. Yeah. It feels like it's way more than that. <laughs> yeah, I've been looking up. 30,000? 30, 30,000 people? You have a computer on your lap. Yeah. I'm gonna, wait, let me, <laughs> oh, this I'm is gonna, a dummy I'm computer. Guess too, uh, Hollywood Bowl, 16,000. Ooh. So right in between the two. Oh. That's a very, that's an estimated guess. Yeah. Uh, 17,500. <gasps> you win. 60, and Rose Bowl, let's go 88,000. Whoa. I'm going. 150,000. <gasps> this is a really fun podcast game show. <laughs> Especially because I'm not, my computer's off. I'm just guessing. <laughs> uh, capacity for the Rose Bowl, 106,000. Hot damn. Yeah. I feel like we could sell if it. If you out. just heard that, I just slapped him in the face. <laughs> you just slapped the microphone. <laughs> it was not a high five. Uh, it was a no five. So, beyond just guessing stadium capacities, this is an advice podcast, Ariel. You see, Jake and I get emails from all around the world mm-hmm. for people who are seeking our guidance, our wisdom. We do our best to dispense it. Sometimes it's just us two, sometimes we have a new friend in the house. And today he called me a friend. We have oh we sorry, the I was talking house. to Jake, Jake, oh. a friend. Yeah, and today Damn we have it. a coworker. Uh, uh, no, we have Ariel <laughs> Vandenberg. Ariel Vandenberg. Vandenberg. Yeah, that's a very uh, regal? official regal name. Yeah, AV. AV is great initials. I'm like a straight up princess. Nice yes. royalty up in here. You should you want to know my middle Queen name. Bay. Oh, it's Saint Seer. That's not what? true. Ariel Saint Seer Vandenberg. Ariel. Saint, well, oh, you know what? Words? According to Wikipedia, that's correct. Yeah. Saint. Ariel Saint Seer. How do you mm-hmm. spell Seer? S E A R? It's S T period C Y R. What is that? Is that your Something. mom's maiden name? It's my grandma's maiden name. My grandma, my great grandma's maiden name. Ariel Saint Seer Van. You do that, you sound like a duchess or I'm something. I'm crushing it in the castles. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I've heard that. <laughs> I, too, am crushing it in castles. I just have no way to back that up. Um, so do you think you can help us out? I'll, I'll read some questions. Yes. And we'll, we'll talk wise. We'll crack wise. We'll discuss answers. I'm literally dying to do this. Right really? Now. I, all I want to do is answer questions. Okay. So this Let's is perfect. perfect. Get started, baby. Yes. Uh, so baby. These, these are real emails from real people. We do want to give them fake names just to preserve their anonymity. So if you can give us a fake female name. That I can call this person. Pat Jessic. <laughs> Pat Jessic. Yeah. That is. A, what does yeah, Pat Jessic want to know? I'll tell you what she wants to know. Pat Jessic. Patricia? Or is it? It's Patricia. 
Is it short? It's, just, just Pat. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pat. It's Pat. Enough questions. It's Pat. Let's hear it. My problem is this. My roommate and good friend cheated on her boyfriend, but refuses to tell him. <sighs> I am having a really hard time with this because it has happened to me on the receiving end. And it's also the reason my parents split up. The shit goes deep. I've known this girl for almost 10 years, and I think she's otherwise a pretty decent human. I really don't know how to be friends with her while fun- fundamentally disagreeing with her morals. What should I do? Do I continue being life? Uh, do, I, do I continue being her lifelong pal and just shove this seething anger I have at her down, or do I end this French friendship on the same basis I would end a relationship? Toda and shalom, love, Ooh. Pat Jessic. <laughs> So this is how nice this lady is. She hasn't. She's not even talking about someone who cheated on her. She's talking about a friend of hers that cheated on somebody else, and she feels quandary. so morally torn that she can perhaps not even be friends with her friend anymore. Well, I wish to be honest. I wish I knew mm-hmm. the other side of it, like the guy's side. No, the friend's no, side. The friend's side. Meaning, because is, it, is because, it like an illicit affair yeah. or is it a drunken hookup that's yeah. like, hey, this because only it, happened one time and it's never going to happen yeah. again. And you know me. I'm not gonna, I'm not a cheater. But this I seems think like that, a one-time thing. A friend cheated on her boyfriend and refuses to tell him. What do you think? Well, if that's the case. Let's say, let's call it a one-time thing. Have you ever, have you ever been so broken up about a cheating that you were ready to like – Get rid of a friend over it? Has that ever happened? Part of? Yeah. No. What? No. No, it's never. Has that ever happened to anybody you know about? Like, oh, my friend won't hang out with me because I cheated on somebody else? Well, I don't. It's not like I go around wanting, like, seeking cheaters as friends. But, like, if a friend cheated, I wouldn't be like, you're not my friend anymore. (laughs) I would just be like, dude, that sucks. Like, don't do that. Right. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, how bad would something ha- would I have to do something for you to not be friends with me anymore? Yeah, if you had a girlfriend, and I'm you asking cheated, you. Okay, uh, yeah, <laughs> physically you... abusing a child. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's shaking probably... a baby out of I, anger oh or God. rage, not necessarily on purpose. I would say any. Yeah, any child a kid on abuse. The playground of course, any child abuse. Time. Of course, a vehicular kid on the playground shook you recently. <laughs> <laughs> a baby shook you as vindication for a what adults have been doing. Me. <laughs> and a nanny told on you. You started shaking the baby. The police called like, he started it. He fucking <laughs> shook me. <laughs> this is so stupid. This baby should be under arrest. It's the dancing wow. baby from Ally McBeal. Remember him? <laughs> yeah, oh you God. don't want to hear my side, yeah. huh? His body was weird. You want to feel old? That baby is 17. Ooga chaka. Oh. Ooga chaka. Ooga. Ooga. Ooga like, chaka. What was, was the that? dance move? And was like it that. from that show or was that like a meme that this, existed? No, it was that from show. that show. The CGI was so bad. <laughs> The CGI wow. was awful. I feel like it was pretty advanced. That baby for the was time real. for like 1996. <laughs> for the time, it looked that baby yeah, it was, was like, like a, legit. It looked like a computer background. So Ali McBeal started it, that. I think it was. I think because wasn't it about like her? She uh, didn't know if it, that was like her. Um, what is it? Fertility teasing her. Like, uh, now's the time. Oh, you is have that to have what it was? I, I mean, I was like 13 was like, when that was show like was on, so I, I'm not Haunting her. That's yeah. what I think. That's oh. what I think as a 31 year old now, looking Shit. back. Yeah. I don't know if the writers that. did that. But I think Ally McBeal started off as a show that she would see her visions, but that they sort of abandoned that conceit after season one. This is also an Ally McBeal podcast, so feel free to wax about the. <laughs> we should really watch Ally McBeal if we're going to have the Ally McBeal podcast. <laughs> yes. An Ally McBeal. So we'll eat food and watch Ally McBeal, and oh then the God. podcast is. Oh my God. This is a great idea. We get McMeals. That's good. Yeah. Official Fillet. A yeah. Mick Pick too. Ellie McMeals. <laughs> Do you like fish fillets? Ew. Yeah, right? Never. It's totally bipolar. Like, people are like, I can't possibly well, ever eat one. Or, like, I, I grew up on that shit. Well, I, like, had them when I was little, but oh, you did eat them never you have it as an adult. Interesting. We yeah. had one recently on the podcast. Or, not after on the, po- the podcast. Right after the podcast, we went and got uh, fish fillets. And then did you die? Uh, yeah, we're both dead. I don't think I- <laughs> <laughs> the girl the girl who emailed this question is just sitting like listening to this podcast be like okay she's like what do I fucking do get I me guess out I'm going to McDonald's now but yeah. that's some sort of subliminal advertising that I, I hope you guys are getting paid for I don't think you can cut off friends that have ever cheated on anybody like that would eliminate a lot of people I would lose a lot of friends that way uh, me included for example uh, uh, but then again it's like this thing that she's like I don't know. Maybe she is uh, being a little too overdramatic about it. Well, I think oh, as 
as no, a Jake, girl. what do you think? All right, cool. Oh, so as a girl. I think she's being a bitch. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Let me just explain something. All right. <laughs> Ding the gong. This is the show you're on now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the man show. The bitch <laughs> dong. <laughs> Toilet flush. <laughs> First of all, bitch dong. Thank you. She needs to cook me a sandwich. <laughs> she needs to cut oh, it. Oh, my God. <laughs> cook your own damn sandwich. Lock the door. <laughs> I cook my sandwich. <laughs> I don't understand how sandwiches are made. A, a sandwich coming out of the oven. It's it better cold be a panini. Bologna. Such a man. <laughs> cook my sandwiches, woman. Come on, right, cook sorry. them. All right. It's for fine. real. Okay, no, but seriously. for real. As a woman. Do you guys have any sandwiches? Thank you. Um, um as a woman, as a, being a girl. Yeah. And knowing other like having a I've been friends with someone who's cheated on someone before. Sure. And we talked about it. And I was actually I mean probably one of the only people she ever told now i'm telling everyone <gasps> but oh, you can name names outing. by the way oh yeah yeah just her name <laughs> pat no <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> no so it wasn't like she was just like this happened and i feel really bad about it and it will never happen again mm-hmm. and blah 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 and she's still with her boyfriend <gasps> and he doesn't know she, actually he might know no. he knows now. And he knows, he knows. It's totally fine. And they're like the best freaking couple on earth. Oh, they're over it. Oh, they're so over it. I think you just, I don't know. Oh, that's, I kind of, I like that advice because it's, it's, it's one thing if 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 this girl is like, I think you did. It's like, it's, it's a case by case basis. And like your friend comes first, right? So if your friend cheats on somebody, the thing to do is talk to her and get at the root of like why it yeah. happened. It's like, are you happy in your relationship or was that exactly. like a mistake? Like, what do you, what, what's the best for your if friend? If she's like hooking up with a bunch of random dudes, then that's obviously just like, why are you friends with a person that can be that Right. Then it's up. sort of grounds for then like not weird. being friends with, yes. with somebody because like she has very destructive behavior. Yeah. And, that's not necessarily and she great. might cheat on you as a friend. <gasps> Is that possible? Like she'll go to dinner with somebody else? You yeah. wouldn't do that to me, would you? I n- never. But you hooked up with somebody last week. That's fine. Oh, that though. was cheating on me because you had brunch what? in the morning. <laughs> brunch we, is something we do. We had an acai bowl. Oh. <laughs> Poor. <laughs> Poor. Uh, I feel like we're not helping Pat. I think. Well, I think you got to talk to your friend. I I feel like these past cheatings, like past you know cheatings. your your parents Peatings. splitting up and uh, and somebody cheating on you, is coloring this experience. But it's totally, also case it to case. Yes, it's very case that, to case because if it's a good person and she just messed up, you leave her alone. That's why they call me gray <laughs> gray area Hurwitz. Yeah, because there's yeah. always a gray area, oh, a graria. Is a that middle your gra- mom's maiden name? They call me middle ground <laughs> Hurwitz. Yeah, yeah Jake mom- Saint Seer Graria. <laughs> Hurwitz Pen Cooper <laughs> Graria. <laughs> Your middle name's Graria? Yeah. Well, oh, Agraria. Now you can yeah. understand that, why my mom gotcha. was so eager to marry out of that name. She was even down to take a guy named Hurwitz. Yeah, <laughs> which we all know is the worst last name. Oh. Easy I'm does it. Choking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It got really quiet. Just, just settled down. <laughs> I'm totally settled. I was just yeah. doing a bit. We'll try to settle a little further. Cause... I'm pretty settled. I don't know. What? Your, your middle name's fucking Shmuel. Oh, that's quite enough. Little asshole. Shmuel? <laughs> Shmuel, yeah. Shmuel. That's right. Shmuel. Mm-hmm. Shmuel Graria. <laughs> oh my God, what a name. Uh, that's so I think true. we answered that question. Talk to your friends. It's not necessarily... Uh, Be there for your friend. Maybe she needs help. Yeah, that's what fucking she... right. This, what, this, what happened is a bad thing that happened to your friend as well. Not just you. Yeah, you know? maybe she like... She doesn't know what to do right now. You just work it out. Talk. Yeah, Straight up, just talk to her. You know what Drake says? Strength and guidance. All that I need, or all that I'm wishing for my friends. Yeah. Strength and guidance. guidance. All that I'm I'm wishing wishing my friends. I used to bust up the silence. I you know you said it. Hi, me. <laughs> as soon as you see dance. my text, reply me. That's yeah. a little Jeez. demanding. I know. It's, it's, also, as soon as you see that it, song, it's needy. Fuck for free. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fucking dope. I, I'm well, so I good. Mean, I guess so, yeah. This shit's so good that I should not have fucked That makes me want to fuck Drake. I heard Drake puts makes all of his ladies' side pieces put read receipts on his, their iPhones so that he knows when they're checking That it. does sound like something Drake would yeah, do. Yeah, that oh way you God. have to read it. I the, do that. The reply as soon as you read the text. Do you have read receipts on? No. Oh, Jesus Christ. But do you ask people to turn theirs on? Hell yeah. 
<laughs> if you want to be my lover, you better turn your own receipts. I can't. Uh, I can't. If, I, mean, I want to. I, I want to. I want to. I want nice. a receipt. I want a receipt. That's not working out. Ready, with red, ah. Uh, you should. <laughs> ready, red, ah. Uh. You should have it. You should call it joining the AV club. Anybody who's your friend. That's smart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so down. <laughs> I'm so down. I want to like reposition myself. I'm sweating. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, it gets hot in here. A little hot. These questions are <laughs> not for the cool-minded. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> but let's get to one more. Do you have another female's uh, female name? Of course I do. It's that easy. Yeah, it's Sean Lemons. <laughs> <laughs> All of your female names could be like <laughs> are practically guy names, and then also the name of a fruit. They go both ways. Sean Lemons. John Lennon's brother, Sean Lennon's. John Lennon's dumb brother. <laughs> you can't even pronounce his You know, my brother. You can't even pronounce his own name. He's on man. Lemons. You're like, what? Lennon? <laughs> Lennon? Yeah, Lennon. Lemons. That's what I said. <laughs> he calls himself Lemons, man. What? That's so weird. Sean Lemons. <laughs> He always has three lemons in his cargo pants. Sean Lemons writes, she's a female named Sean Lemons. I shouldn't have said brother. She, oh, yeah. well, last month, my boyfriend of a year and a half moved to Michigan for med school related reasons. Oh, no. Now, here I am stuck in California, missing him every day. A couple days ago, I told him that I had gotten a Brazilian wax, and he asked me to send, me, send him a sexy picture of myself showing off the wax. <gasps> and so I did. Then the conversation became extremely steamy, and he started describing what he would do to me if he was there. Because he and I were always together, we had sex often, and never sexted. So to my surprise, his messages were amazing. I never knew how talented he was in the sexting field, and it turned me on like crazy. You could probably write an erotic novel or something using the messages he sent me. Screenshot us! (laughs) I need to know what's great sexting! (laughs) Unfortunately for me... I had nothing else to follow up with. All I could say was, oh, baby, that would feel good, and I wish I could fuck you right now. Nice. Things like that. The best I could do was send him some extremely erotic snap videos of myself. I mean, I worked, it worked out in the end because he did come after all. So, because I won't be seeing him for another couple of months, I'm sure the situation will come up again. But my question is, how do I become a better sexter? What do guys like to hear and read uh, when they sext a girl, I don't know if this makes any difference, but he's 31. So how would you do like a girl to sext you? Or am I better off to sticking to sexy videos and pics? Thanks in advance for any help you can offer. Sincerely, Sean Lemons. You guys, that's, that's an easy one. That's a question for you. Guys. He's like videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does this? Does she, does she need to write anything, or do you think a picture is worth all, a thousand? She did words? all the heavy lifting by sending yeah that's a lot a, of videos of herself. Like yeah. that's she like she dudes can't do that. No, yeah. Is it, what's an erotic it. photo? Is it a dick pic? Is not that erotic, right? No. Even if the guy is hot, is a dick pic hot? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Literally nope. <Yeah. laughs> no dick. No DP. No DP in this DM. <laughs> I've read that. Slide out. Yeah. So- <laughs> Sliding out of my DMs immediately. <laughs> I would like to see. <laughs> so sliding out of your DMs. <laughs> All right. It's so smooth. Oh. Giggity giggity. I am out of here, my man. Peace out. Yeah. Ignore me. <laughs> as soon as you see a text, don't reply. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it seems like his job is to write so well that it turns her on. Yeah, by the way, I want to know what he said because I feel, like, I feel like I feel like this girl in any sexting situation I've ever been in, it's just me saying like, oh yeah, yeah. You're I feel like you guys are doing very well on both ends. Like, oh, you think she's, so? She's doing her job. He's doing his. It Fine. worked out really well. Yeah, this right? is this is a pretty good problem to have. And the yeah. fact that they're in a relationship doing all this sexy stuff. So this isn't a problem. This is just like a shining example. This is just her um, bragging. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> just was like, yo, I have lots of sex with my boyfriend when he's in town. And when he's not in town, we still have sex over the phone. Yeah. And by the oh, way, cool, he's, in, med, he's yeah. in med school. So yeah. he's oh, going to so be a doctor. He's going to save my life someday. <laughs> oh, great. Great. And I sent him erotic snap videos, and right. it got me off. Who is this <laughs> sexy, like, writer dude that's also learning how to be a doctor? He's um, a fucking poet. 
Jesus Christ, Man. a fingersmith. You know what we can do is try to advise her in a bad way, break them up, and then... Oh, my God. Ariel can find the dude, one of us can find the babe, and then we'll go off from there. That way, it's turning one relationship well, to two. So Ariel yeah. finds the dude, one of us finds the babe. One of us is just... It would be me, ideally, because well, uh, I came up with the idea. Right. So yeah. then, it, so it sounds like I, I don't know why I would participate in this. Well, then at least you just, have the podcast. I would oh, have a podcast. True. You would take over the podcast and Jake and Amir. I mean, Jake and Amir. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those guys. <laughs> no, no, no. The girl's name is Jake. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Did, was so that not clear? now he runs off with the shocked. other Jake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it'd be Jake and Jake, yeah. me and the doctor. What's the podcast called? <laughs> What about uh, me? The, Ar- <laughs> the Ariel Show. <laughs> and there we go. And, and then I just go get a Brazilian. That's right. <laughs> Hi, I'd like a Brazilian. Uh, so if you could email us, um, really, it doesn't have to be specifics, but ideally the entire conversation, just so there's no reason for this guy to hoard up his magical sexting abilities and not help anybody else. If there could be a guide or something. I'm sure we'd link to it. And then she, he, his words can help out thousands of people. Mm-hmm. Um, you could probably write an erotic novel. A huge bug. Yeah, bug's dead out there. Um, all right. Yeah, this was um, this was an easy one, I guess. Because <laughs> you guys are doing great. Congrats. Yeah, keep it up. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, man. Congrats uh, on med school. Let's uh. <laughs> yeah, man. What a fucking. What a legend. Go get him, dude. Let's take a break. Absolutely epic, mate. We'll uh, Jake and I will thank a few sponsors, and we'll be right back with more Ariel after this. Damn, Daniel. This episode is also brought to you by Blue Apron. You gotta stop saying damn, Daniel. <laughs> I will. I mean, my God, the meme is gone. <laughs> Give me it's another year. Uh, Blue Apron is one of our favorites because not only do they provide you with ingredients, fresh ingredients to help you make dinner, it also teaches you a valuable lesson about how to cook in general. That's actually really dope. Yeah, it actually is really dope. Uh, for less than $10 per meal, this is how it works, Blue Apron delivers seasonal recipes along with pre-portioned ingredients to make delicious home-cooked meals. So you're not buying a whole bunch of stuff that you don't need. They're sending you exactly what you'll need to cook. There's no yeah. excess. Oh, a pinch of paprika. But then you gotta buy a whole, like, $20 jar of paprika. Yeah, that's it's too so many pinches. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. I just want the pinch. I want the little baggie. I want the little Coke vial of paprika. Well, you know don't call it that. But yeah, the pinch wants the pinch. <laughs> <laughs> take that back, man. <laughs> I was positive. <laughs> I should take back so many other things first. All right, sorry. Uh, it's a variety a of new... Defensive. Yeah, you do. Uh-huh. It's a variety of I new... I get re- what? Shh. <laughs> what'd you say i get say it to my face bro <laughs> don't say it to my face i couldn't fucking handle it man a uh, variety of new recipes we're talking about japanese ramen noodles wild caught alaskan salmon heirloom tomatoes blue apron is bringing you the best uh, it's flexible you get to choose uh, based on your dietary preferences and it's easy the meal comes with step-by-step instruction instructions that are so easy to follow jake and i have legit cooked using it and and I'm I'm not talking about you because I already yeah. see your eyes well enough. I'm fucking, <laughs> fucking bring it, dude. You're gonna Indian burn me. <laughs> Sorry, Native American burn me. Uh, nice. So you can check out this menu uh, and get your first three meals. They're upping the ante. Three meals for free. Trey with free shipping. You're not paying for the shipping. You're not paying for the first three meals. Check out their options if you go to blueapron.com/slash. If I were you, uh, you're gonna love the way it tastes. You're going to love the new skill set you have. It's a great way to spend a night uh, or two or three every week with your loved one or your roommate. Uh, Sometimes you love your roommate. That's okay, that's too. That's fine. That's, that's fine. fine. That's fine. <laughs> uh, it's a great way to spend the night uh, making awesome new meals. Stop getting terrible takeout. Stop making the same grilled cheese sandwich. Kick it up a notch if you go to blueapron.com slash if I were you. That's blueapron.com slash if I were you. Hell yeah. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Thank you as well to Harry's.com for sponsoring this episode. Yo, y'all like razors? (laughs) Yeah, dude. Uh, Usually you either have to compromise a good shave or a good price, meaning the razors aren't so good, or you're paying too much for a good razor. And y'all know Jay Witz doesn't compromise. Nor do you have to anymore, because Harry's gives you a good shave for a good price, uh, and it's, it's extremely simple and affordable. Uh, All you have to do is go to harrys.com, and they'll even give you $5 off your first purchase if you use promo promo code if I were you. That's not that bad. Yeah, their Truman set starts at $15, and it looks pretty dope. It looks pretty adult. It looks pretty cool. It looks like you got your stuff together. 
For just $15, you get a razor handle, moisturizing shave cream, and three of Harry's five-blade German-engineered razors. Now you get to shave like your old man, like a real boss. And if, and if you get a, you use our coupon code, it's $5 off, so it's only 10 bucks for that first Truman set. So why don't you go to harrys.com and check it out. Another one of these things, another one of those things that's good for yourself or as a gift. Jake, you've used Harry's razors before. I sure have. I don't shave very often, but when I do, you better believe I'm using a Harry's razor. So if you go to harrys.com, use our promo code if I were you, you get ten, uh, $5 off uh, mostly everything, I believe. And then if you get the Truman set for 15 bucks, it's only 10 That's $10 to sort of dip your toes in the world of Harry's razors. Check them out. New-ish sponsor for us. Uh, so it yeah. would help to move some razors. We gotta move some razors, folks. Jesus. Let's get back to more Ariel and more questions and answers right yeah. now. And we're back. Woo! Uh, Ariel, what are you busy with nowadays? What takes up the most time? Make a pie chart of your life. What's the biggest slice? <laughs> Dance. <laughs> <laughs> Making pie charts, I guess. Uh, yeah. I don't really know where to start. <laughs> um, wait, is that a serious question? Dance? Yeah, yeah. Free time? Are you, is, do you really dance a lot? I love dancing. Really? Do you ever go yeah. out and dance? I do. Would love an Evite. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. We like to dance, too. What are you guys doing tonight? Holy shit, a Monday night dance sesh? Let's crazy? go. Where would people go on a Monday to dance? Wherever. That's awesome. I know. <laughs> I mean, that's why I suggested it. Seriously, I have nothing to do. We do actually like going out and dancing. I, that's all I want to do. I don't want, ever want to go out and talk to people. All I want to do is go out and yeah. like not talking to people is the fucking worst. worst. It's the hardest part. All I want to do is go and like put like horse blinders on <laughs> and dance. Dance to the music. Dance to the music. When we discovered dancing bars, maybe let's say three years ago, uh-huh. it sort of ruined other bars for us because yeah. when you go to another bar, it sounds like there's just like something missing. Right. We're also friends with a lot of like comedy writers who don't like dancing as much as us. That's and true. They hate. Like, Ben hates coming to bars with us. He won't do it. Yeah, because it's just loud, and if you don't really love dancing or getting kind of drunk... He likes dancing. He, he does, is good at it. Us. He is good at oh, he, it. You He's guys good like at it dancing. More? I don't think oh, we... Yeah. yeah, that's like we try to do it at... at we, we go out dancing like two <laughs> nights every weekend. Oh, my God. Wh- where's my invite? Have you ever been to, like, dance parties? Like, have you ever been to Booty L.A.? No. <laughs> What is booty? I feel LA? like you're part. You can show us all the West Side dance spots. We can expose you to the. What East kind of stuff do you dance to? Do you dance to hip hop? Anything. Right, cool. Like if like if it's '80s music, hip hop. Yeah. Like yeah. I like to like what's that? Like just like freaking whine it. Oh yeah, popping and locking. I like to pop and lock. I like to dutty whine. <laughs> oh, are you, like I'm more Jamaican dance halls these days. Jam- that's another slap yeah. in the face. <laughs> um, straight up Jamaican dance halls, like the shit. Have, have you ever been to Break Room 86? That's 80s dancing. Yes. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I wonder if we've ever been there at the same time. Probably mm, not. I've only been there once, so it would have been one in a million. No, because probably. we're there literally all the time, so, yeah, so one we would have seen you there. Uh, oh, so, okay, gotcha. What else that do you do other sense. than dance? Um, <laughs> but I did um, like pulling at that thread. Yeah. I, I write. Oh, yeah, I'm just finishing writing a pilot. Hello. Hello. Um, so I'm a finished. television show. A, yes, a television show. A telenovela. Mm-hmm. A 60 minute docudrama, would you say? No, a 30 for 30. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. And what sport is it about? Um, <laughs> God, you just had these questions pre prepared. You didn't <laughs> yeah. care what it was. Sorry, I thought were I was interviewing <laughs> Bill Simmons. Uh, I have not edited the question at all. Uh, you don't want to say what the pilot's about. You don't have to say. It's. Um, Mm, you don't I mean, have to say. You yeah, have to say. you're writing a TV show. Everything I'm writing a script. TV show, and it's very on. Like, it's just like me. Like, if I was a TV show, it basically. It's all it's, about dancing. It's all about <laughs> dancing to it's dancing with the stars. Jamaican. That's perfect. Music. But dancing what, with the stars. So writing, dancing. These are all the hyphenates. Yeah. Uh, human writer, dancer, mm-hmm. actor. Yep. Acting. Acting. <coughs> I saw I a MasterCard commercial you were in. Hell yeah. On your Instagram. How good is that shit? You don't give a fuck. I don't give two fucks. That's awesome. I give three, though. <laughs> uh, Whoa, three would lo- I give a three fucks. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Would love to be in your next uh, spot. Okay. How do you... What? 
This is crazy. I just want in. That was such an audacious question. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'd you love to be in it. your next commercial. Yeah, just next <laughs> time sure. you're next time you get a Dude, cool opportunity, in. think of old blues. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to be involved in some monetary way, shape, or form. <laughs> So selfish. Uh, specifically shape. I am not kidding. We could do a commercial. Really? I could EP. We should do a commercial <laughs> for your podcast. For your podcast. Well, technically, this is a commercial for our podcast. Actually, technically, this is a podcast. Yeah. What? What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> what am I talking about? Who am right I? Now? Uh, future podcaster, can we give you a show? Yes. Okay. That's good. What would the show be? The Vandenberg Show. The AV Club. The Vandin <gasps> Show? No, that's already taken. Oh, that's, oh. The AV something is pretty cool, though. But yeah. you might as well say Ariel's whole name. Yeah. Well, AV is what, like, everyone calls me. Oh, really? People call me Vandenberg. Vandenberg is good. And, like, all my agents call me AV because I don't think they know my full name. What about the Vandenberg disaster? I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty... That's a cool... That's a poetic name. Yeah, and, like, when it starts, it's just like... Oh, and then you go, it's like, oh, the hilarity. Hi, I'm Ariel Vandenberg, yeah. and we're here to talk about famous tragedies throughout history. Oh, my God. Wait, you guys. <laughs> I'm so down. Also, there was a tragedy today. What? Oh, the Gene Wilder passing. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. I'm sorry, but he's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, he's he was one of the few that can be like funny, but also in a very dark, serious in such way. a mysterious way. Totally, and I feel like I feel like that wasn't an act. Like he was no. actually that kind of person. Yeah, brooding and hilarious. And, like he, oh, he's he's a genius. What's your favorite Gene Wilder movie? Oh my God, Young Frankenstein. Doi. I've never seen it. No way. That's true. Mel Brooks is kind of a hole in my comedy knowledge. Oh, get on that shit. Marty Feldman is the jam. Well, oh, you're a real comedy nerd, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. But for real, you need to see that movie. It's the like most genius movie ever. Every piece of it. I still watch it today, and I feel like I find something new about it. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's amazing. Wow. <laughs> like, I get more and more into it every it, time I watch it. Although, is it black and white? <laughs> It's yeah, hard, yeah. hard, hard, hard bass. Um, Jesus, what? what? I feel like that's a nice way to honor somebody that <laughs> that dies. You watch some of their best work. That's true. Okay, why don't we stop recording and then we can? Well, let's watch. do it after the show. Okay, after the, that's right. Yeah. That's even better. That let's way, let's watch get to it while it. we're recording. Oh, so it's on in the background. Yeah, Jesus yeah, and then we'll occasionally like chime in. Right. This is if necessary. No, you that's guys, a great what idea. You guys just had a show, the Vandenberg disaster. <laughs> yeah, you're the co-host, Ariel it's... Bloom. <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we exhale so much we die. <laughs> What's the opposite of breathing in? Uh, so that's great. Writer, dancer, future podcaster, actor, creator. You're just home wrecker. Home wrecker. JK. <laughs> Homeowner. I am a homeowner. <laughs> that's even better. <laughs> Namaste, girl. Yeah, that way you own okay, a slice of the America. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Jake Jake sometimes gets like kind of down to earth like that. Yeah. And I really don't like it down either. Down to earth. <laughs> Jake's like, yeah, he sometimes get all he gets all yoga out. Uh, yeah. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. What's yeah. your number one source of exercise? Last question. Soul cycle and dance. I d- oh, I'm not even good. kidding you. Okay. The last time, I don't even know the last time I wore a dress or a skirt because I dress because I know I'm going to like end up dancing uh-huh. during the day. <laughs> so I have to always wear pants or else. You, you can't know. dance in a dress? No. You have to dance no, in I, pants. I dance like Dancing a psychopath. Pants? <laughs> I dance like a psychopath. Oh, that's so good. So like, I like kick my legs up. I like dance around. And so I'm, I like, always feel like I have to be very comfortable so I can dance. It's kind of like Mary Catherine Gallagher. Oh, no, the Elaine Bennis meets sort of olive oil. A lot of like the, the, yeah, the car very wash olive guy. olive oil. Yeah. Car wash, car wash inflatable man. Yeah, car wash inflatable man. Yeah. Oh, We're doing that. the movement. <laughs> just, just so you can't We're tell. just waving our arms around. I'm doing flailing. a one-person wave. Check yeah. out this trick that I just uh, perfected. What's that? Bounce the phone on the couch right onto this, right onto my thigh. It's what a, what a, now that yeah. you said it. Oh. <gasps> that was so cool. I'm not kidding. <laughs> this is awful radio. Yeah, we all... Everybody wishes they could do it. Of it's course, seamless. it's barely good video, <laughs> it's cr- which makes it <laughs> terrible for audio. Radio. The funny thing is that oh, oh, that's oh really good. there you go. Shit, try and bounce <laughs> it so it lands as really high. I like to imagine somebody at the gym <laughs> on a treadmill <laughs> right into your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I got it. <laughs> oh, fucking nailed it, dude. Uh, I'm really surprised it worked uh, that time. 
Uh, anyway. Did you have anything you wanted to, like, plug? Something that, like, people can... Like, what's the number one way for people to reach your shit? Is it your Snapchat? Yeah, because I think, like, that's where I, like... It's I'm always on it, so yeah. there's always something to like watch on Snapchat or like now that Instagram has stories, I'm mm. like trying to make more Instagram stories. But I love Instagram, I love Snapchat. So what's your name on Instagram? Ariel. And what's your name on Snapchat? The Ariel. And what's your <laughs> you just add a the every time. <laughs> and on Twitter, the the Ariel. It's the Ariel the. No uh. I'm <laughs> So yeah, Twitter and Instagram is Ariel. Nailed just it. my first name. And then the Ariel is Snapchat. Perfect. Yeah. Hell yeah. Don't you know? Don't but you I know anybody at Snapchat that can hook you up with that full at Ariel brand? Oi, right? Tell me about it. I know. I come on, Snapchat. How how popular do you have to be to get some love around here? I mean, Christ, you should just what am to I stop shocked? Live? Yeah. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> Next question comes from Liver. <laughs> liver lemons. <laughs> liver lemons. We do have another question. Do you want to answer? Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> We need another, as it turns out, girl's name. Chelsea Handler. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Chelsea Handler? What? Do you know Chelsea's Handler? It's Handler? Do you know Chelsea Handler's Handler? No. Okay. Cool. Just wondering. <laughs> I want an in with her Handler is all. Oh. Oh, I see what you're asking me now. Yeah. I was confused. I do know her. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is yes. Yeah, and her, this is the, her question, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Chelsea Handler's if, Handler. If anybody asks, this is not a uh, 22-year-old from London. This is actually Chelsea Handler <laughs> writing. <gasps> Here's my situation. There's this guy, of course. Let's call him Crumpet. Oh. And we've been dating for about five years. Crumpet? Mm -hmm. Did you just name him or did she name him? She that? named him Crumpet. That is hilarious. Thank you. Crumpet. For four of those years, I was dating someone else. I'm 22 Wait, now. Biscuit. She said they've been friends for five years. Yeah, this she's friends with Crumpet for five years. Okay. And friends. for four of those years, she was dating somebody else. Biscuit. Biscuit, let's call him. Bicky. And although this, uh, although through this time, Crumpet made it abundantly clear that he liked me. And although he is one of the best people, I wasn't ready to be in a proper relationship with somebody I liked because I was scared of being rejected, LOL. Here's where <laughs> shit hits the fan. Well, Two I'm months ago, I got out of my four-year relationship with Biscuit uh, when I was done kidding myself. I was honest with Crumpet, and I said I liked him back, but it hadn't been good timing. He asked mm -hmm. me out, and we went on three dates. I had a great time. He said he did too. Date number four, I go back to his place. We fool around. And then one week later, I get the let's just be friends text. Oh, man, I could have hit the roof. He said that he never wanted to date me. He fancied me, but he didn't like me. And he just wanted to go there because I'm hot. What? Like, I'm fine with being told that by a random person I don't care about seeing again. But a good friend of five years? Am I being crazy here? Did I read this so wrong? Was he within his rights to say that? I'm cool with just being friends, but there's no spark. Uh, if there's no spark, but there's been five years of spark and tension and all that. He should have just told me he wasn't interested before dating me four times and bringing me back to his place, right? Right? Is this some kind of revenge for making him wait? Did he seriously invest five years to fucking chuck? I feel like I have no idea what the hell prompted this meanness. It flies in the face of everything I knew about him. He wants to just be friends, and I think I do too, but I don't even know how to A, get over Crumpet, and B, understand what the fuck just happened. Are you crying? <laughs> what would you do if you were me? Send a snotty message and say, see ya, ask mm. to talk and try to figure out what happened, or just cut one of my best friends out of my life forever Thanks cheers for pals multiple choice uh <laughs> any insight you can provide into the male psyche would be very appreciated love chelsea handlers <laughs> so the question is should she have long distance sex mm. no <laughs> is that what you read is that what you read into <laughs> no i'm kidding uh so wait you question. were also shocked when i said the let's just be friends text well i have a question okay the, fir the very first sentence, was it that he said he loved her before or something? He like basically had a crush on this girl that's been in a relationship for four years. He's been and then once she her. was free... They went on four dates. They went on four dates and he was like... Never mind. Just kidding. Just I like, wanted to I want to be friends with you and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I got the hookup out of the way, out of my system, as it were. Well, 
That is insane. Is it a dick move? I think I, no. It, it's just bad timing, like she said. That's legit, just bad timing. But the fact that he said, "Let's just be friends," after five years of obsessing over her, and then finally going out with her, and then he did, and then he's like, "Actually, let's just be friends." Is Can that you a dick like move? any of those like teen movies where like the they wait and they're like, "Oh, this was the right person all along." You yeah. ran into my nose, then they fuck. And they're like, "Actually, never mind." I got that out of my I system. I feel like <laughs> that is way more common than the actual. Like, storybook ending. Storybook ending. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, the second you kiss someone, you know if you're, like, gonna hang out with them again. Right. I do. That's the magic. Oh, so, like, usually I make snap judgments right away, I know, but you're saying you don't know until the kiss happens. No, no, no. <clears throat> I'm saying, like, if I'm beyond the point of liking someone, yeah. th- like, if I'm like, oh, I like this person, here we go. The next thing is to kiss them. And, and then, then you're like, if the kiss is bad, then you're like, well, I got to go. Wow. Bad oh, kiss. Wow. I never thought yeah. about a bad kiss. I'm always so concerned about other stuff during that moment. Well, it's not like – I just think that it's really important because you know – That's just, the chemistry, the electricity. Yeah. There's like – you already like each other. And actually, here's the thing. Okay. No. Okay. I'm wrong. Okay. I lied. Here's where it goes. <laughs> that was it, not the thing. That's not the thing at all. No, but I – if you okay, oh, it's God. like that song. If you wanna know if he loves you, so, so it's, it's in, in his, his kiss. kiss. It, that's, that's where, where it is. is. La, 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 <laughs> don't be shy. That you is a different girl. song, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> you I did just <laughs> spill water on myself, so I feel pretty dumb. At, <laughs> right I feel now. pretty dumb right now. <laughs> it's to put you I in the character. I can't handle being called an idiot right now. <laughs> you feel like you're under the sea. Stop oh it. my God. <laughs> Um, But there is a lot in a kiss. There is, but that's not what I meant. I meant like, so, okay, for this situation, Mm -hmm. I think like a girl, the way she, so, uh, fuck, okay. (laughs) This is good. I need need to go back. We need to go back in time. Here we go. Okay, hi, I'm Arielle Vandenberg. (laughs) Welcome to the podcast. Sorry, I was just thinking about how to plug myself. (laughs) <laughs> anyway, it's the Ariel on Snapchat. Yeah. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. It's not in his kiss. <laughs> it has Follow to do with me. Also, right. chemistry, you know in a second. <laughs> no. Okay. So, like, if I, like, like a guy and there's, like, an initial, like, thing where I'm like, oh, this guy's, like, really cool and, like, fun to talk to. Yeah. I'm like, I hope he's a good kisser. Got because it. that's when, like, it's going to be perfect. Because if right. he's not, then you're like, well, shit. So, so no kiss more than sex. Yeah. So Okay. So, like, I hope he's a good kisser is what you think, not because I hope Because if, if you already like him, that means that he's going to be a good kisser mm-hmm. because you like him. Oh. And then if, if he's a good kisser, then he's automatically going to be good at doing other stuff. Wow. Okay. That's good to know. So, it's like you should be- practice your kissing as well, much as I you think could that, your other stuff. Well, I think it... Like liking someone in the very beginning is the reason why anything's good after liking someone. Right. It's all subjective. Anybody can be a good or a bad yeah. kisser depending on who you're kissing. Exactly. Have you ever had a great date and a bad kiss? Yup. And that's just like, oh no. Yeah, but I mean, I still hung out with him because he was like so nice and great, but it just like, but it like wasn't there. Right. Like the and the whole package wasn't there. I feel bad because you're talking about Jake, but like, yeah. what about the kiss? I thought it was like? there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm when he was there, the sorry, package I saw- was whole for sure, <laughs> and he was swole. <laughs> uh, it just like I don't know. It made me think differently. For you know, too sloppy, too dry, too ma- too open, too close. It was like too aggressive. Mm. Yeah, I was mm. like, "Yo, bro, you don't know me yet." Me? Like that. Who me? Too aggressive. Get back, get yeah. Back. Um, you don't know me like that. Yeah. yeah, they don't love you like I love you. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, Can I say something? <laughs> Y'all were talking for about three minutes. I got theories shit. on kissing and chemistry too. <laughs> I feel like we're not answering this poor girl's question. No, I want to know the chemistry kissing theories. Oh no, I I, I don't actually have. One. Okay. I think uh, oh, anybody I, I kiss. Know. Oh, I think that I don't need to feel chemistry to have sex with somebody. I could. Oh, you could have yeah, I could kiss. get over that hump pretty easily. <laughs> well, that's because you're a dude. <laughs> yeah, but like, that's so sometimes sex do. is good and sometimes it's less good. But there's never anything that was like, oh, I kissed somebody and I didn't feel anything. I always feel something. Well, yeah, like, it's but, always great. Yes, but but when you really, really like, it can make you really like someone, or it could be like, eh, 
Oh yeah, I'm a hundred percent. I completely agree with you. If you kiss somebody that you are, like have a huge crush on, oh and you're God. falling in love with. There's you're no better feeling done in the for. world. But I also think that I've kissed ugly strangers who I didn't respect <laughs> and been like, that's dope too. <laughs> yeah. I kissed ugly strangers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's dope. <laughs> See, like, I don't... Put that on my fucking tombstone. <laughs> yeah. I've kissed ugly strangers. The two worst things you can be. <laughs> ugly. Oh, <laughs> And God. a stranger. So, but here's, the, I'll say this about uh, <laughs> this girl um, and this guy's situation. He's within his rights to, you know, to hook up and say that he's not feeling it. Because, like, maybe totally. maybe he had a real – maybe, like, that – for five full years, he'd been, like, looking forward to this thing. And maybe he built it up too much and it wasn't all he was hoping for and now he's not into it anymore. Yeah. Maybe I he did it pretty, in a non – It's he did it in a too cold way. Yeah. I mean, he sounds like a dick, but I don't think he – anything he did was illegal. So I don't that's think that's a dick move, though. You do or do not? I don't. You don't think it's a dick move? No, because, like, like whatever happened in five years, you change so much. So, like, the second you – this person's, like, out of a relationship, like, I mean, it's – I don't think that she, she – because she asked, she was like, should I say see ya or should yeah. I still be friends with him? Yeah. I say you still be friends with him because you never know what the future holds for you two anyways. Mm. Like, you, it could be – sparks could happen again sparks could fly and hopefully it's not when you're back in a four-year relationship but if it is then you know (laughs) (laughs) but what what about the fact that he's like he just wanted to go there because i'm hot that's a mean thing to say right wait yeah that is mean i I didn't even remember that part he could have handled it a little bit better he was very like cold it seemed like he fancied me but didn't like me he just wanted to go there because i'm hot for four years guy i mean actually yeah, that's probably... That's if he's, like, mom. crushing on somebody for four years, she's finally single, gives him a chance, he hooks up with her, and he's like, damn, I only wanted that because you were hot. hot. I mean, that's such a crazy <coughs> amount of time oh. and effort to put into... Yeah, he honestly probably maybe felt rejected for so long that he wanted to reject mm-hmm. Right, yeah, she did suggest that, right? She that said was maybe one of her theories. Revenge. Yeah. I wonder if revenge. he, like, got... He was like, well, I got what I needed, but he actually is really in love with her. Shit, you guys. <laughs> You're such a romantic. I really am. <laughs> here's what I – this is – here's – I think this is the real the, the real takeaway. She's been in a relationship for four years or five years or whatever it was. Yeah. Now she's single. She should go out and be single and not like try to jump right into – like, Yeah. This guy doesn't deserve this amount of scrutiny and trying to figure out what's going on. So like, don't send him a snotty message. Don't get back together with him. The middle of the road is a, you don't have to be with him, but you can still be friends yeah, with him. Yeah, fuck it. He was like For a sure. little bit of a dick, so you don't have to date him. But maybe, And there are other people out there. Yeah. All right. That's that. Namaste. Um, nice, dude. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, my favorite subplot of this episode is that Ariel hates when you say namaste. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hands to a heart center and open up your soul oh, to the universe. Mother of God. Let's go through your your shavasana. Oh, you know more of those words? Oh, I'm done with you. The chemistry is palpable, baby. sun salutation. <laughs> Jake is doing a downward dog right now. Oh, uh, is that what it's called? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, thank you for coming on our show. Didn't it just fly by? That's it? Yeah. We only talked to three girls. I know. A little under an hour. That's why you have to come back. Or you can listen to Ariel on her <laughs> upcoming fandom. I'm disaster. not coming back. It's too fucking short. <laughs> this was too short. I'm mad about it. You always have to leave them wanting more. You can't give them too much. Remember that when you start your own show. That's my problem. Oh, uh, you always... You, you. <laughs> <laughs> I always go be above and beyond. I like, always leave them wanting less. <laughs> yeah, they're like, you know what? I could do with a little bit less. Let's offer. say 10% off. Like yeah. an Ariel sale. So make sure you guys listen to my four-hour podcast. <laughs> it's starting now and never ends. It'll never come out because I'm always going to be so recording podcast it. and a live. I bugged stream. my room. I bugged my car. Your Truman show. It's just a live feed straight to my bathroom. That's actually not where a bad we're trending idea. as a society. Not a bad idea. True. Uh, once again, Ariel's on Instagram. Ariel, Snapchat, the Ariel, Twitter, Ariel. Yeah. You can find her online wherever DVDs are sold. Uh, I- 
Thanks you for, are at Blockbuster. Yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you so much. That was so fun. I agree. For real. Uh, and this uh, opening theme song was written by Amir, as I said before. The closing one is a Gnarls Barkley parody by Sheldon. Oh, my God. Uh, thanks to anybody that's written in. If you have your own theme songs or questions, the email address for everything is if I were you show at gmail.com. And we'll be back next Monday with an all-new episode. See you guys there. See you guys <laughs> there. Kidding. You're stepping on my tagline. See you guys there. That's what I say at the... God damn it. <laughs> you do not say see you guys there. <laughs> I remember when, I remember, I remember when I see that cheese. There was something so pleasant about a me. Had an echo in the raven's nest. And when you're out there without a care, yeah, I was in a Starbucks. But it wasn't because I tried to kill myself. I wanted to listen to these two Jews. If I were you, podcast with Jake and me. To the show at if I were you show at gmail.com. Yeah. That was a headgum podcast.